Hey everyone, in the world of brakes, the Shimano Frieza rotors are some of the best because of their extra cooling capabilities. It used to be that these were available in an XTR and Saint line. RT99 is the name of this specific rotor, but with the introduction of 12 speed, Shimano trickled down that technology to the XT Grupo. So I have the MT800 rotor over here. Let's take a closer look and see how it is the same or different from the good old RT99. This is an aluminum piece that is sandwiched between two pieces of steel and that's how all the ICE Technologies discs from Shimano are made. What's special about these freezer rotors is again the extended fin that provides even better cooling. Aside from that, uh, you get the logo here on the face of your disc, the product number, which is the MT800 for the uh, XT, manufactured in Japan, just like the old ones, rotation of the disc, which is clearly specified with an arrow, and finally, the size of your disc, and also the minimum safe thickness of this disc. It is specified as 1.5, straight out of the box this comes with 1.77 millimeters thickness the mt900 which is the xtr version of this is almost identical with the cooling fin being painted black not much to see on the back of the rotor aside from the cutouts and the aluminum spider most probably to save weight the old xtr or sign had a different shape of that cooling fin also, the spider design was different. I got my discs OEM, so no box, but uh, Shimano uses the same one as in the past, obviously with the correct product code. Center lock is the same attachment as before. Aluminum spider, again, identical. And these discs can be used with both resin and metallic pads. These are the uh, sizes available, and obviously this would be an XT disc. XDR or signed was the good old RT99. On the scale, the 180 millimeter disc comes up to 133 grams. The 160 millimeter disc comes up to 106. In comparison, the 160 RT99 came to 109. So almost the same weight as the previous generation rotors. To install the disc, you're gonna need one of these lock rings up front or one of these in the back. So either 10 or eight grams added to the weight of the disc. Shimano used to ship their center lock discs with this type of lock ring, which is perfectly fine for a QR type of axle on your bike. Also works fine for the rear axle, so 12 millimeter. As you move on to a front axle, which can be 15 or 20 millimeters, you can see why this lock ring cannot be used. It won't fit. So for that, you have to use the bigger one of the two. And installation of the disc is trivial. You just slide your disc onto the spline and then tighten the lock ring to 40 Newton meters using a 16 notch Shimano BB tool. And to be more precise with the tightening torque, you can use a socket type of BB tool. I'm gonna to put links in the description for tools like this. The same bigger lock ring can be used on the back, so 12 millimeter or QR. You can see the torque specified, 40 Newton meters. And in order to do that, you're gonna use a cassette tool. Finally, remove that warning label that tells you not to touch the disc during install and because I know you're gonna touch it anyway, use some uh, isopropyl alcohol and wipe the disc clean. And before you hit the trails, make sure you bed in the brakes. In that process, some of the pad material is deposited on the braking surface of the rotor and that gives you maximum power and longevity of your disc and pads. And why am I showing you a rotor straightening tool? Because in the two years of ownership of these discs, I never had to touch them. They've been nice and round and provide a great performance on this bike. And after using these for two years with resin pads, you can see I'm down to about 1.69 millimeters from about 175. I know you're gonna ask me, is there any downside to using these rotors? 
Uh, the only downside that I can see is that you need the center lock interface for attaching these to your hubs. So you would have to buy the wheel set that supports this type of rotors. Are you guys planning to use any of the Shimano Frieza rotors? Pretty excited that they exist in XT format right now that brought the price down a little bit. But uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep an eye on social media, and until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.